I guess you can't really train for this kind of stuff, Kaipo, right? You can't really simulate how you're going to be feeling when you're under pressure and you're against the wall. Meanwhile, let's stick with life here from deep. Here goes Griff with a ton of speed, massive air. And why? And he stomps it. That thing was huge. Cola Pinto with an absolute ton of speed finding a beautiful looking section and going huge. And he looks like he's bringing it in. And all of a sudden, this left hand wedge comes to him and he goes to the sky. And why? And he stomps it. That thing was huge. It looked like he was floating in slow motion and landed it so perfect. Call it what? Call it a 10-point ride. Perfect 10, our first of the season. I'll tell you. Unbelievable performance. It almost felt like I won the contest for a second, but then I realized I still have more heats to surf, so got to bring it back, you know, I'll enjoy the moment. But, uh, you know, once I go to bed, tomorrow's a new day. Hey. Kayo activating, pumping into the tube, could have an exit, driving, and somehow, miraculously, comes out of nowhere. A Sakurama surprise from Kayo Ebelli. The crowd is going wild. A caterwaul of sound coming from thousands of surf fans who are loving it. A magician just pulled a rabbit out of his hat. Kyle and Belly. Let's check it out on the replay. Kyle deep in the barrel, cavern, headlamp on, spelunking through there, finds the exit, sees the little light at the end of the tunnel and is able to find it. Here we go again, Ebelli deep in the barrel, Gonzo way behind the foam ball, is able to find that little ray of light and able to aim for it gets the exit that and he here we go one more time slow motion and you can really appreciate you know what this is this, this is, is a, a perfect 10, ten point ride kayo and belly a rare perfect 10 in front of this raucous brazilian crowd they're loving it we're loving it the judges loving it nice and clean across the board all five of our judges throwing out that perfect number. One more look here, Pete. Uh, just look at the timing where he uses that ramp. It's a solid overhead wave and just perfectly placed. Technique impeccable, no grab. Board stayed right stuck to his feet. Looked like the whole time he was going to make that. Red is Sammy Pupo. Yellow is Felipe. Setting it up, one big move. And oh my goodness, that was crazy. Are you kidding me? Oh, boy. A 10-point ride for Felipe Toledo, famous for throwing tens in finals as he's looking for his fourth event title in his country. The crowd is firing him up. Next one's going upside down and trying to control one of the most radical takeoffs wow. of the day. McGillivray pulls off the impossible. Oh, my. Oh, wow, and look, all of his friends just are losing it. I do not understand how he hung on to that, Joe. That was just wild stuff. He seemed, he was so under the lip. Uh, as you can see, the jet ski just going in to get grip. He got that square on the head, but Maddie McGilbray, that was hitting himself in the face, just saying, how did I do that? But look, he's sideways, just getting crunched at the bottom and somehow hanging on to that. I think we could see something very, very high. Matty McGilvray, we've seen a lot of people try that takeoff today and go down, but he hung on for dear life and just muscled and hugged his way through that foam ball. That was the most incredible thing I've seen all day. Unbelievable, out of control, but in perfect rhythm. He had that incredible tail release that was imperative for him getting deep on that wave. Total commitment from McGillivray. So much commitment, so much magic trickery for him. The nose dug in, he's going sideways down the face on a 10 foot huge tubing chokes wave. And for him to be under the lip here on the foam ball, it's spitting in his face. He's so deep. I am gonna say this is gonna have to go perfect.